Hey, good evening, folks. Um, this is uh, Amson, and tonight we're gonna do three of the six basic phonics. Um, so the six ones that we have are A, E, I, O, U, and Y, right? So let me write that down. A, E, I, O, U, and Y. But tonight we're going to do A, E, I. And then we're going to do a continuation of O, U, and Y next time. Um, so, now, by itself, the alphabet letter A has nine sounds. Nine sounds. So... Yeah, we're going to do the nine sounds tonight, and we're going to do spelling also. So, let's get ready. So, the first sound is going to be ah. So, I want you to say it with me. Ah. Ah. An example, we have... And. The next one we have is apple. 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 And then the next one we have is pram. 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 And the next one we have is fan. Fan, fan. So why don't we practice? Let's do. Let's take it from the top. Let's go. Ant, apple, pram, fan. Good. Let's go to our second set. This one's gonna be the long a. A, A sound. So, first one, we have angle. Ready? A, N, G, L, E. Angle. Angle. The next one, we have the long A, apron. Apron. And if you'll notice, the O has an I apron, has an I sound. I want you to remember that because the vowels in English do change quite often. So you're not going to actually read the word as it's spelled. Um, that's an inconsistency with English and what makes it so hard to learn, especially for ESL students. Um, the inconsistencies with letter, letter and sound. Well, anyway, let's go on. Next one, we have table. 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 And then the last one, we have paper. 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 So why don't we practice that? Let's do that. Let's do the second line. Ready? Angle. Apron. Table. Paper. Good. We're going to move down now. Next one, we have the uh, 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 uh sound. Uh, uh. So I want you to remember that now. First one, we're going to start with zebra. B R A Zebra Zebra And then we have a sleep a sleep 
asleep. And then next one we have umbrella. 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 And that last one we have petal. Petal. Uh, uh. Pet. To. Sorry. Petal or petal. Because of course the, the T takes on a D sound in English. So you get a D, D, D. Petal. Petal. Let's do that again. Zebra. Asleep. Uh, Umbrella. And petal. Petal. Good. Now let's move on to the ah 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 sound. Ready? So we're gonna go into father. Ah 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 ah. Father. 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 And then drama, drama. Now, if you notice, there's two A's in drama, right? So this A has has like the father dra. This A has a uh uh uh. So like umbrella. So we have two sounds in drama, drama. And then. So here's another uh, 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 word with two A's. Salami. Salami. But we're doing a father drama. Salami. Salami. Good. Now, this one, of course, this next word can be pronounced two ways. Vase, or in this case, vase, vase, vase. So let's do that again. Ready? Let's go. Father, drama, salami, and vase. There you go. Now we're going to go on to the next to all. Aw, aw sound. The A has an aw sound. Aw, aw. Ready? First one. Water. Water. Now, we can go back to that water. If you want to pronounce it faster, it's going to be water. 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 And then next one, ball, ball. Now, me being a New Yorker, most New Yorkers are going to pronounce the A with an A in the ball, tall. Right, and our next word is going to be wall, wall, wall. Yeah, I, I enjoy doing these uh, videos like it's kind of like freestyle um, so I don't have to follow a script here. Um, anyway, next word is going to be tall. So most New Yorkers are going to pronounce this tall. I think people from Britain will pronounce it tall, tall, tall. But anyway, New Yorkers will pronounce it tall. And also the O and coffee would have the same O coffee C O F F E E would have an would have an O sound. All right, let's move on. We're gonna next one airy airy air air. So first one we have canary C. A N A R Y. 
Okay, and then we have canary, canary. And then next one we have area, area. So we have two A's, see? Yeah, canary also has canary, area. So that's like back to like the uh, umbrella uh, and a, a canary, right? The area. Good. Next one, let's go to parent. 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 Good. And for the last one, here we go. We got very focal. Very focal. Hold up. Let me spell that. So, very, this is like a very focal, cool now. This A has a U, sounds like a U, U sound. So you see how the vowel changes, but we're gonna, we're, we're uh, gonna pay special attention to the A, very focal, very. So this one has like an E, 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 like almost like very. When you say very, and so parent, very, area, canary. There you go. So let's go on to our one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh set. Okay, now we got many, eh, eh, many, eh, eh, many. Many, many has like an E sound, a short. E any, many. Oops, huh? hold on. Many, and then we have any, any, any. Good. Um. Yeah, we gotta switch papers now. So, okay. Um. So now we're gonna go to the it 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 sounds like an I sound like a short I sound. So first word we have is cabbage C A B B A G E and this sounds like a it it. So we have two even now we have two A's here, right? But they're pronounced differently. So we have cabbage, not cabbage, cabbage. So it has like an I sound, it, 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 cabbage. Keep that in mind. Like I told you, the vowel sound changes in English. Um, the English language is very inconsistent. There's some, it is sometimes there's no logical pattern to the language, which, uh, can take some learners back because most languages there's consistency with the letter either the letter or symbol to uh, the sound to symbol uh, there's consistency but English there's a lot of inconsistencies with the language so it it creates a barrier to learning for ESL learners anyway let's go on to the next one baggage B a G G A G E. This is another double, another one with two A's in it. Not like a cabbage. Now we got baggage. So it's gidge, not baggage. Baggage. And um also this would be very confusing, say to like a Japanese uh, ESL student because the hiragana only has one sound and when they uh, usually translate the hiragana into from the symbol to the alphabet it's usually an A but A has nine sounds not just one sound because hiragana 
ah has only one sound that's it um so you'd get a learner pronouncing this word baga bagaji bagaji so but baggage so that's a barrier right there but with with uh perfect practice you can uh pronounce it perfectly so now let's go on to the next one village l l a g e it, it is another one village not village 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 good there you go we got that village and last one we have let's go package p a c k a g e i love spelling um here's an anecdote when i was young my mother would uh make me sit in the kitchen while she was cooking uh i grew up in brooklyn new york of course uh we lived in this place called argyle road in flatbush i think it was uh yeah it was flatbush wasn't it and she'd make me read. Um, that's how I became I, I became a good reader, and also a good speller. Uh, plus, she's an uh, she was a um, uh, avid reader. Also, my mother loves reading. Well, she loved it, but she still does. So, anyway, um, package 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 it it all right, why don't we practice that? Ready? Cabbage, cabbage, baggage, baggage, village, village, package, package. Very good. Now, now watch how the A changes again. Now we got the oh, uh, 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 example. Co, chur, chur. This has a ch, ch, ch. Cultural. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have popcorn tonight, so mm, that's something stuck in my throat there. Anyway, so if you hear the way that you hear how the A changes, co, Cultural, oh, oh, not cultural, cultural. So it has like a uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the next word. And, uh, and, uh, animal, animal. Now, if you hear this, now of course that has a uh uh animal, but the I has an ana. U H sounds like a uh 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 uh, like a uh, about. Uh, if we go back to zebra, animal, animal, not animal, animal. Uh, how a lot of my students would pronounce that, students in school. And, Schools here in Japan would pronounce that any, any ma, any mal. So there you go. Anyway, casual, C A S U A L. Now, so see, we have two A's. Casual, same thing like. Cultural, animal, casual. And then the next one is crystal. R Y S T A L. Crystal. Crystal. So why don't we why don't we do that one more time? Right, let's go. Cultural. Animal. Casual and crystal. Good. 
Actually, that was our last set. So that was nine. Those are our nine sounds. Our nine sounds uh, to the letter A. We're gonna, let's move on. All right, folks. So now we're at the letter E. So the letter E phoneme sound can be made by 12 different letter or letters. So this is going to be a good one. 12 different letter or letters. So letter combination of just letters. So let me show you. Um, first one, we have our short sound egg. Eh, 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 egg. Bed. Yeah, we're going to have to try to fit all this in. This one's longer. It's going to be a longer one. It's going to be a longer section here. Bed. And then alphabet. A L P H A B E T. Alphabet. Eh, 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 eh. That's what we're going to concentrate on the eh, eh, eh sound. And then now this one, like vase, vase, it could be envelope, envelope. I pronounce it envelope. That's how my mother pronounced it when I was growing up. So it could be ah, uh, eh. but now this is the British. Um, this is amazing. Wait, wait, this is a little weird because now egg, bed, bed, and yeah, envelope is okay. A little, uh, just a, a minor. A difference in sound in envelope in alphabet bed egg in so you hear you hear how different that sound is but the website I checked had this and I think it was the British pronunciation um, so you can hear listen to the sound of the air now watch this Egg bed alphabet envelope. Yep. So you can hear that the, the, the air changes coming out. Good. So now we have a combination E A. E A. It's a combination sounds a phoneme. So we have bread. Eh, 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 bread. And that gives us the uh, same as the egg, eh, 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 egg. And then we have head, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Eh, 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 eh. And also remember, e a can also make a a a a, a long a sound like great. Um. Yep. Yeah, so. Or. Also a long E sound like lead, lead. So, yeah. Okay, now let's go on to the next one. Thread. Eh, 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 eh. Thread, eh, 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 thread. And then this one's a nice one. This is a kicker, right? Meadow. Meadow. This is why English spelling is so important to learn this, because these are tricky words here. The only way you can you can you cannot spell well. You could do br ed, but you'd have to remember e a is e e e. Um, ed, and then th thread, and then meadow, meadow, meadow. Tricky, very tricky there. So let's go. This one also. So we have a, 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 a example mini. So this A has an a, 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 mini, right? And then any. These are tricky. These are tricky words here because you can't. You'd have to memorize uh, how it's spelled instead of the sound. You can't go by the sound because then you'd be 
uh, spelling it M E N I or men, many, many, ni, ni, and you wouldn't even guess, think it was a Y. If I were to give uh, a kid a test right off the bat, they probably wouldn't, well, an uh, ESL student would not know how to spell many. They would, yeah, they wouldn't know how to spell this. This is a word you'd have to memorize, and any is another word you'd have to memorize, a tricky sounding word. Um, yeah, let's cut this in half. And we're gonna move on now. So, oh, AI. Eh, 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 eh. So, this has an E. Okay, example. Said. Said has an eh, 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 eh. And then again. So we got again, eh, 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 eh. and then against, language is so important and um, I love language, man, I especially I love the English language, it's a beautiful language and it's really not easy to learn. Uh, you know, I'll uh, tell a story. I remember one time I was working in the um, this center, and I guess the parent wanted to blow off some steam because you know it's not easy to learn English. And she told me English. Her daughter's bored of English because it's a simple language. Okay. Well, I had a law book next to me. And I says, I guess your daughter can read this. She never spoke to me after that. I guess so but anyway um let's do I oh hold on let's do I E a eh, eh, friend friend a eh, 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 eh, friend good a y says so it's not says, 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 but if you take the, it would be say, I say, but with an S says, you see how that changes. It just changes. It's amazing. And then let's go. Okay. So we have a U now watch this Barry. Berry, eh, 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 berry. Okay. And then E I heifer, which is a female cow. Heifer, eh, 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 same as berry heifer. There you go. It's an amazing language. The language is very amazing. It's the uh, inconsistency and sp uh, sound to spelling and spelling the sounds. Amazing. Now we got Wednesday. E D. Wednesday. 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 Okay. Now we have EY. Now watch this Reynolds. Reynolds rap. Reynolds cling rap. I used to have you never forget those names when you were growing up. Those uh item names. Cling rap. <laughs> um Thems. This is British Thems. Thems even has an A S T E Thems, and uh, something that's very disgusting. E G, phlegm. That's the green stuff that you cough up when you're getting over a cold or an infection. You have phlegm. H. 
L E G M Flem E G A A A A A A A Flem Good. You know what? Why don't we practice? Let's. Why don't we do a little practice? I want to do this. Um, I don't know. I don't want to bore you guys. So anyway, let's go. Egg, bed, alphabet, envelope, bread, head, thread, meadow, mini, any, said, again, against, friend, says, berry, heifer, Wednesday, Reynolds, Thames, Phlegm. There you go. So uh, now we're back um, with our last set with this I. And I, the alphabet letter I by itself makes six sounds. So let's get into it. Our basic is it, 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 it. So let's start with pig. It, 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 pig. And then we have brick. Bri, it, 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 it. Lips. It, 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 it. And then insect. You know, I like this pen. This pen's pretty cool. What's the name of this pen? This is called, I don't know if you can see that. It's a pretty cool pen. It's, uh, it's a gel. Uh, I saw this guy on, on the, uh, he had a, I guess he has a, a YouTube, uh, uh, what is it called? A YouTube channel where he writes very, he does the alphabet and the kanji and hiragana. He uses this one. And I looked all over for this one. Like I found it on Amazon.jp. It's a good pen, smooth. And it really sticks to paper. Okay, now we have our long eye. Okay, long eye. Example, lion. And as you see, lie in. So we don't say lie on, lie on, lie in. So that, so this O turns into a it, 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 lion. Good. Then we have child, a long I sound, child. And the ild is a very hard uh, sound to master. Or to pronounce if you're an ESL kid, because they go child. But it's child. Child. Old, 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 old. And then we have tiger. And then we have spider. So we have our long eye. Spider er with the hard R. Well, that's not no er, not really hard R, cause rainbow's a hard R. Rainbow tiger. Now this one is uh it 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 in basin in. So we got e i in. This is a hard in like basin. Basin, in. and then we have raisin, raisin. So you have a raisin, zin, with that s turns into like a z. Raisin, basin, um, slim. It, it, it slim and then this one I had to think this off the top of my head engine 
engine. Why don't we let's do that? Let's go ready. Basin, raisin, slim, engine. And the E N has the same as I N engine. Oh, very good. So now we're gonna go to E E E, which is like watch this. So first one we have field. Field. Oblique. And the Q has a K sound. Q, Q oblique. Q, Q U E S K. And then we have another word, physique. Physique. Z, V, physique. And then last one, unique. Let's practice. Field. Oblique, physique, unique. Very good. Now, why don't we go on to the in, in, example, of onion. So if you notice, also the O, we don't go onion, it goes on, has a U sound, uh, uh, on. And the I has a yin, a yin has a Y, and O has a I, onion. That's how it's pronounced now. Onion, onion, onion. And then we have another word, opinion. Opinion, opinion. Opinion. And then we have another word, opinionated. And opinion I O P I Oh sorry. Opinion. Sorry, sorry. Misspelled O P I N I O N A T E D. Sorry, opinionated. Opinion yinated. There you go. Last one. Our last set is going to be is is noxious. N o x i o u s is noxious. She is she is. And the o, the I O U S words ending are my favorite words because there are plenty of words that uh, I remember by reading the uh, Pickwick Papers by um, uh, Charles Dickens, like um, facetious, um, unctuous, uh, officious, fastidious. Um, I like the I-O-U-S words there, beautiful words. Um, how about anxious, A-N-X-I-O-U-S, anxious, ink. So this X has a K. Usually at the beginning, X has a Z, like Xerox. But anyway, anxious, obnoxious. Uh, knock. No, X I O U S. Up knock. The K, the X has a K sound. Up knock. Shh. Yes. And then our last one is over anxious. A N X I O U S. 
There you go. So why don't we practice again? Let's go. Let's go noxious, anxious, obnoxious, and over anxious. So today we did, let me show you, we did our A E I sounds. Next time, I'll write that out for you so you can next time okay plus you're getting a nice little english lesson we'll do next time we'll do uh the a e i o u a e i the o u and y sounds Okay, good job. Okay, and you guys have a great night. And uh, if I'm not back by the New Year's, Happy New Year's by the New Year. Um, happy New Year uh, and uh, stay safe and uh, we'll see you soon.